In this program, we look at how patriotism, national interest, and security affect the way stories are brought back from the front. When a nation goes to war, the media and the military often fight each other over access, censorship, and ultimately, the truth. I've become very, very skeptical about the behavior of governments in wars that, because the stakes for them are so high, they can very seldom resist the temptation to tell lies. Usually, censorship is to protect the rear ends of our own people, that's what it's for. I mean, censorship is, is nine times out of 10 or 99 times out of 100 ridiculous. From my view, I think a, a sophisticated 21st century view of how broadcast media especially is, is relevant to war is to recognize that it is also a conduit for communicating information to adversaries, to other governments, to other uh, citizens of countries that, uh, that have interest in what we're doing, whether it's adversarial interest or friendly interest, and certainly our own population. It is a known residence that is used by Saddam Hussein and his sons. The war over control of information is nothing new. In World War II, an American censor reportedly said, I'd tell the bastards nothing until the war's over, and then I'd tell them who won. So just where does the truth fit when a free and democratic society goes to war?